Ah, welcome to Britain in 2023, where calling a spade a spade is now a revolutionary act. Let's talk about the brouhaha that's been brewing over Melissa Poulton, who, until not so long ago, was strutting around as Matthew Viner. Here's the skinny. Poulton, a trans woman, has been picked by the Green Party to run for Bromsgrove in the upcoming UK general election. And get this, he's waving the flag as a proud lesbian. You couldn't make it up. Last week, Rachel McLean, the MP for Redditch and deputy chair of the Conservative Party, whacked the hornet's nest by sharing a post on social media that called Poulton a man in a wig. Now, I don't see the problem with that statement because she tweeted, while the Greens can't tell their elbow from their well, you know, the good folks of Bromsgrove certainly can. I, again, can't see the controversy. But cue the fireworks, right? Poulton then hops on to BBC News Midlands, in which are obviously very keen to get this person on to bash a transphobe Tory, crying about transphobia, dog whistling, gaslighting, you name it. The victim of the minority community of a kind that the BBC loved nothing more than to platform. He's adamant about being a queer woman with transgender experience, the watchwords of the moment. Without a show of a doubt, it is a trans transphobic comment. It's dog whistling um, at the finest, you know. It's, whisper, it's gaslighting, it's everything. By attacking a minority um minority group is just yeah you know it's just it's a shame. McLean, meanwhile, has scrubbed a tweet from the internet, but stands aground, saying it's not transphobic to say that women and trans women are different. So who's fooling who here? Let's call a spade a spade. Poulton is a bloke. You only need to glance at this person's photos. The bloke's in a kaleidoscope of wigs that look like they've been nicked from a Halloween shop. And he's got lipstick on like he's done it in the dark. He's one of those chaps who, in the autumn years of his life perhaps, decides he's a lady and does the bare minimum to pass as one. But that was perhaps back in the days when the BBC wouldn't take that person and then give them a spotlight like you wouldn't believe. The Daily Mail say that this person only started transitioning last year. Back in 2019, he was still Matthew, running for the Wire Forest Council elections as a Tory. Yet here we are, expected to nod along to this attention-seeking pantomime of womanhood. It's a piss-take, if you pardon the French. Despite his less-than-convincing get-up, Poulton's got a fan club. From the Greens to the BBC, they're all singing from the same hymn sheet, telling us to accept him as a woman and scolding McLean for not playing along. Even Wendy Morton, Another so-called conservative MP wagged a finger at McLean for not showing respect to Poulton and his new identity. I don't know why she chose to put that message out that, that she did. Um, only only Rachel is the person that can that can answer can answer that. You know, politics is a at times a very heated place to be, but you still need respect in politics. Um, that to me is one of the most important important things, and I think it's incumbent upon us all, whether we are members of parliament, councillors, or candidates, to remember. You know, there should be respect at the heart of politics. And of course, the Labour Party was straight in there to burn the turf wheel online. Joe Baker, the Labour bigwig at Redditch Borough Council, branded McLean's comments as absolutely vile and hateful. He's even suggested that the post McLean shared could be a hate crime, a dramatic overreaction worthy of a Christmas pantomime dame. But they're serious. This is no pantomime. Make no mistake about it. West Mercia police have had a gander, but they're not calling it a crime yet. But if Labour gets their way, they would. Labour's toying with the idea of making it a serious offence to misgender a trans person. If they win the next election, you might find yourself behind bars for stating the bloody obvious. At least we'll have a bit of fun all in there together, I guess. But how much of this tomfoolery are we expected to swallow as a nation? Our political and media elites are spinning us a yarn, telling us that a bit of makeup and a new name magically transforms a man into a woman. 
It's a slap in the face to common sense and a mockery of the truth and biological fact. I don't know about you, but in this instance, I'm with politicians like Rachel McLean, who actually have the guts to call it like it is, despite the ruckus that it ensues and causes. The rest of the political class should hang their heads in shame for playing along with this charade. The truth matters. Have you got what it takes to be a reasoned presenter? Well, send us a short clip of yourself to join at reasoned.uk and we might be seeing you on this very channel very soon indeed.